Hey guys, Alex from Fast Fitness Tips here. How are you guys doing today? We're going to talk about waxing your chain, which is something hardly anyone is doing. And I can see why. Basically, you're not waxing your chain because you think it's too much of a headache. You know, we've recently done a survey of you guys and 60% said it was too much of a headache to wax your chain. That's not to say you don't believe it works. I think we can get this process down to under 15 minutes. What do you think? 15 minutes to wax your chain using the grunge method. I'm going to show you that now coming up. But whilst I play you that video of me trying to get my chain waxing under 15 minutes, I want to talk about a few products that have come to the market. One is this one here by Absolute Black. It's called Absolute Black Graphene Lube. Now, it is ludicrously expensive more expensive than most that little bottle there costs about 10 to 15 dollars for a kind of microscopic amount which will get you through how many chain waxings i don't know but here's the thing i want you to think about chain lube in a different way not so much the price per mil but the price per watt or the price per watt year like how much does it save you in watts over the course of year of the year which is to do with how quickly it wears off Watch this video and I'm going to show you some slides on the cost per watt year of this one, Squirt, which a lot of people use, and the Ceramic Speed UFO Wax, this drip wax. Now I have to tell you right up, if you don't want to watch the video from start to end, that's fine. I will say that these drip lubes are not as good, in my opinion, as an immersion method. And just today, Silka, Silka out of the US, is releasing a brand new uh, wax, you know, hot wax method, immersion method. That's in addition to their secret recipe, which hasn't been tested properly and independently. And I guess that's one of the messages here as well. You need to test independently and properly in order to reach firm conclusions. But my honest advice to you is reconsider chain waxing. It's really not that much of a headache. It saves you more watts than you may think. And it's better than any drip on wax product that you can get. Yeah, these are good in kind of an emergency, urgent situation. I'm not saying they're not. And in fact, today I'm going to give a giveaway. I'm going to give away a bottle of this absolute black to anyone who leaves a comment below, i.e. a random draw, not everyone, I only have two bottles. So anyone who leaves a comment below, I'm gonna put you in a random draw for this product. All right guys, let's get into the fast fitness tips, grunge method of chain waxing. Here it goes, let's go guys. Hey guys, Alex from Fast Fitness Tips here. Today we're gonna talk about chain waxing. Yeah, it's literally a hot topic. An athlete wrote to me recently and said, what is the best, most economical gain I can make on my bike? But if we're talking about equipment, that actually is not anything ceramic. It's not anything ridiculously high priced. It's something that's reasonably low priced. I'm talking about waxing your chain. Now, I know for a fact that most people are not waxing their chain. We've recently done a survey and the survey showed that the majority of you think it's too messy. Yeah, 80 to 90% said they believe that waxing the chain has real, genuine benefits. But why is it that 99% of people are not doing it? It's because, in the survey, the majority said it was too messy, too cumbersome, too time-consuming. So today I'm going to show you how to do it in just 15 minutes. 15 minutes from start to end. That is not a bad deal, guys. 15 minutes... I'm talking about grunge method of waxing. You're going to get 95% of the ideal gain, but it's only going to take you a short amount of time. Now, if you want to simplify things, what I would say is if you want to take the ultimate gold standard, it would be something like molten speed wax with the additives, you know, those secret mini additives that gain a fraction of a watt. You've got to super deep clean your chain multiple cycles. And in addition to that, probably ultrasonic clean it. Obviously, the immersion waxing to a very good standard. Uh, that would be your gold standard, losing you effectively zero watts. You know, loss compared to ideal would be zero watts. But if you do the grunge method, which would be a quick clean, yes, you do have to take the, side, the bike chain off the bike. You still have to take it off. In addition to that, we're going to do like 
molten speed wax on its own, yes, you can get away with raw candle wax or paraffin wax. It's a bit loopy to be honest. I'd go with the MSW product. But if you do that with immersion, you can do it quickly. I'm going to show you here. Watch the video in the background. But you can do it quickly and you can have 95% of those gains. Okay, what's one level less than that? One level less than that is one of those liquid wax products. I'm talking about Ceramic Speed UFO. I'm talking about the new one from Silka. And I'm talking about the new one from Absolute Black Graphene Lube. Graphene Lube. If you use one of those, but you still do the immersion technique, and I, to be honest, I don't see the big gains in terms of time of doing the immersion technique, but if you do, you probably get 90 to 95% of those gains, yeah? One level down from that would be using those liquefy waxes, but applying them as a drip on the chain. You're never going to get up to those high standards. You're never going to get... 90%, you probably get 85% of the gains from that liquid on method. And if you try and clean the bike chain on the bike, you're going to reduce the cleanliness gains to around about 80% as well. So that's definitely a fudge to clean your chain on the bike and apply the liquid drip wax, liquefied wax on the bike. That's why I'm saying do it with the chain off and it's not that big a deal now. You've got a quick link, haven't you? And if, if you haven't got a quick link, you know, get one. It's, you know, there's a quick link for every make of chain now. It's a simple thing. Now, here's the thing. To do the grunge method, you just need like four things. You need the chain degreaser, you need the chain wax, and you need the quick link, and you need the cleanliness bottle, the shaker, if you like, which, you know, is an everyday item. All you need to do is remove the chain, degrease and clean the chain, dry the chain, hot wax and immerse the chain, let it dry, it's quick, it's around half an hour or less, and then put the chain back on, simple. Now whilst this video is running in the background, let's talk about the chain science, like drivetrain losses and what's gained versus lost. The golden rule is, don't believe anyone that's trying to sell you a product about how many losses or gains you're gonna get, because they're going to be influenced by their own product. And yeah, I'm talking about Ceramic Speed. I'm talking about Jason Smith Lab. Yeah, you know, once that was acquired, that lost its independence. Okay, maybe you can listen to them about other competitor products. But ideally, we want an independent review. And we've got that now. We've got that from Zero Friction Cycling out of Australia. And sure, I spoke to those guys, Adam, Adam Kerrin in Zero Friction Cycling, about actually whether I could make a device to test drivetrain friction here. And he convinced me quite sensibly. It was ludicrously complicated and I didn't have the investment to make in that. So I don't have to do that because he's done a fantastic job anyway. He's tested for 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 hours of chain science testing in his lab, you know, with that modified tax Neo that he's got running all the time. That's, that's, that's a super good way of doing things. And what he's discovered there is you don't necessarily have to find those narrow, fine resolution differences between chains, you know, in order to, you know, clarify that the chain manufacturers were different. What you can do is instead of looking for what saving per chain, you can look at life of the chain or life of the lubricant because the lifetime of the chain is heavily correlated with the friction, which is heavily correlated with the drivetrain losses, of course. The three things are all intercorrelated. So it's quite reasonable to look at chain life. And what kind of chain life are we talking about in terms of a chain? Well, of course, it varies depending on your conditions, like your outdoor conditions. If it's horribly dirty, then you might be talking five, 10,000 kilometers before your chain is totally worn out. And if you don't replace it, your cassette's going to wear out. Your chain ring's going to wear out. Worst case scenario, you know, if you don't ever clean your chain, you're running in dirty, gritty, horrible conditions. It's possible to have less than three, 4,000 kilometers of wear in a chain. It's possible. More likely, however, if you take care of your chain, if you wax it regularly, you could have 50,000 kilometers of wear. You know, that's why it's where it starts to save you money. 
because the chain itself will have longer life. Your cassette will have longer life. Your chain rings will have longer life. Your whole drivetrain is going to have longer life, right? Now what is also discovered, and it's in this graph here, is that there's a very big difference between chain lube lifetimes. The product that you put on has a very different lifespan depending on what it is, and this is actually very key. So I had thought that the chain wax immersion method was kind of a long lasting method, but it turns out that only lasts two, three, four hundred kilometers, and that's quite right based on my experience. You know, quite typically, I'm having to wax again every month. So you're talking about 10, 11, 12 times a year for waxing. Now it is true that some of the drip on or some of the liquefy waxes like Squirt, which isn't a bad product, lasts quite a bit longer, at least twice as long as the um, immersion method. So that could last you 600 kilometers and end up, you know, obviously depending on your kilometers per year, only having to um, switch it out, only having to repeat it like five, six times a year, let's say, is quite possible. But there is a new product on the market. Check out this graph. It's from Absolute Black. It's only out this month and we've just got this in to test, the graphene lube. And that is showing in Adam's test based on the revised product. Yeah, he did get in slightly hot water by testing the early product, the demo product, but the revised product seems to have an unbelievable life. Like, you know, you might not have to repeat it, reapply it more than a few times a year, which is quite amazing, really. Okay, so let's talk about costs. Now, if you just talk about raw costs, it's a bit misleading because you want to talk about costs per watt and also apply lifetime into it. So let's say we take um, squirt lube. So if you work it out at raw cost, it's going to cost you only about um, 10 pence or 10 cents per mil, which isn't bad. You know, graphene lube, the absolute black, is horrendously expensive, around one pound a mil. And the UFO is also very expensive, around 33 pence or cents per mil. But then if you correct per watt, you get a table that looks a little bit like this. And then if you then correct by life, you get a different ranking. In last place, we actually have the squirt loop, which I work out would be around one to two pounds per watt year. Then in next place, equal would be the graphene loop absolute black, black around 60 pence or cents per watt year and then UFO which is expensive but it does have a big saving again around 60 pence or cents per watt year and then the muck off hydrodynamic grease it's actually not a wax saving around 18 pence per watt year if you wanted to go for more grease product which is not wax that seems to come out well but the best one is obviously the immersion wax, MSW. Six pence per mil, one pence per watt, but 10 pence, you know, 10 cycles per year, 10 pence or cents per watt year, which is really a phenomenal price. Now, if this sounds expensive to you, remember we surveyed you all a year ago. We asked 500 of our viewers how much you'd be prepared to pay per watt for a watt of gains. Nearly all of you were prepared to pay like one pound, one dollar per watt. Two thirds of you were prepared to pay 10 pounds or dollars per watt. Half of you were prepared to pay 15 pounds or dollars per watt. One percent of you were prepared to pay 1,000 pounds or dollars for one watt of gains, which is quite incredible. I have to think, you know, it's quite incredible who's going to pay that. Let's look at it this way. If you were to buy a new skin suit, it would actually cost you around 10 pounds or dollars per watt of gains. A helmet, 20 to 30 pounds or dollars per watt of gains. And a ceramic speed bearing set, hmm, which, you know, most of the gains come from just cleaning out that area and replacing it with something good quality. The actual ceramic to steel difference is so minuscule, it comes out 2,000 pounds per watt of gains, which is so ludicrously high. Almost no one, almost no one is prepared to pay that. But if I go back to these products, to the waxing products, everyone, nearly everyone is prepared to pay 10 pence or cents per watt year. But yet 0.1% of you are actually waxing your chain. 
because you consider it too much of a hassle and it would take too long. Okay, now remember guys, the, the actual savings you get depend on the watch you're putting through the system, your RPM, the amount of cross-chaining, the size of your gears, the condition of your chain. All those are, va are factors that determine your actual mathematical gains. But don't worry, I don't expect you to memorize that stuff because I've put it in a calculator and it's in FFT.tips drivetrain. So if you log on to that, you can put in your drivetrain specification and it will tell you your gains. Obviously, you have to put in your chain condition. You do it here. You put in your chain condition on a scale, which is on a scale of 1 to 15. But what I've also done here, and this is new, if you put in your watts and your uh, drivetrain condition and your chain condition, it will show you what gains you have over a course. So let's say I'm doing a 40 kilometer course. Put the spec in here and I'm 266 watt, 250 watt rider, then once it sinks, it sinks there. Look, if, if I have an ideal run, it would be 64 minutes. Not deadening that. That's if I have sound. Um, you know, a, a liquefy chain additive, it would cost me about um, 0.2 of a Look minute. Look how waxy this has gone. If on I there. had a brand new chain with that, um, what do you time call it? Uh, preservative time right, that yeah. new chains come with, it would cost me about 1% in time, or about 30 seconds. And if I had a slightly worn chain, a tiny bit dirty, which is very common, then I would be losing about two and a half minutes, or 3% of my time. So this dynamic calculator works out your time loss, depending on your input. And if you want to see it in raw watts, it's here, grand total drivetrain losses. And this calculator not only works out chain, it works out bearing losses and cross-chaining losses and cassette size losses as well. It's all in there. Okay, that's it, guys. The chain waxing is done. And you've seen from our clock ticker there that it took me around 15 minutes, including a mistake of letting the wax cool too much as I was about to put the chain in. So I had to reheat it for about 30 seconds or a minute. So we should take that off there. Uh, in part B, I did a dummy run, which took me about 20 minutes to do it. So I'm not saying it's always 15 minutes, but I'm saying you can get it down to that if you practice. So boom, guys, there you go. That's the answer to the question. What's my most economical gain in terms of equipment on the bike? I would say waxing your chain is because it works out at around molten speed wax over the year. 10 pence per watt year of gains, which is quite phenomenal. All right, guys, that was the Fast Fitness Tips Grunge Method of Chain Waxing. Tell me in the comments below what you think. And don't forget to enter our competition. Just leave any comment in the comments below and I'll randomly enter you into the draw to win, yes, the absolute black micro bottle for what it's worth. It's going to be easy for me to send. Thank the Lord for that one. Don't forget, if you want to work out the actual losses of your drivetrain on your bike, you don't need to do some complex calculation. We've done it all for you, and it's fft.tips slash drivechain. And if you want to work out chain extension and where, it's fft.tips slash chain. All right, guys, what do you think about these products? Drip on, wax lube, other method? Tell me in the comments below. And don't forget to check out our Patreon channel, our Strava channel, or our Fast Fitness Tips coaching group on Facebook. Until next time, guys, stay safe.